I swear this is the last time. I swear. I, I don't know why I keep going back. It's like, it's like crack. <laughs> it's like a drug. <laughs> So I am here today with yet another Boohoo clothing haul. This isn't just strictly Boohoo because yesterday I had half an hour to myself, which is very rare, and I actually got to do a little bit of shopping in town. So I bought some things from Jeans. Just Jeans. Just Jeans as well. So I've got actually two parcels from Boohoo, which is really strange because I ordered these exactly like this is all from one order, but they arrived two days apart in separate bundles, and I was like, Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go through the Boohoo stuff and then we will go into the Just Jeans stuff. I have started to, like based off my last Boohoo clothing haul, and someone actually commented, like quite a few people commented, and obviously I read all of your comments and everything, and someone said to check out Crystal Conti's videos. She's incredible and her style is just beautiful. So that really inspired me to try some different things and normally I'm so cheap with fashion I'm just like whatever's the cheapest I'm not spending $50 on one item that's crazy which I know a lot of people out there are like that as well but I thought what I'm currently doing like it doesn't seem to be working I'm still kind of dressing to my old body type <laughs> so this items I purchased before I came to this realization as well so <laughs> these may or may not work um, but I'm definitely still dressing to how I used to dress before I had hazel and now obviously my body's changed a lot things are wider things are bigger things are just different to what they used to be and I feel like I need to kind of up my fashion game in a way and most of the time I'm just kind of lazy because I'm just cleaning or doing stuff you know so yeah I do have some more of these kind of videos coming up with some different kind of styles that I'm just trying out um, so yeah <laughs> let's dive right in I actually cannot remember what I've got because I've been putting this off like filming for such a long time but hey oh my gosh okay all right so this is the first thing I think this is a top yes so I did purchase this during a sale. Boohoo never really um, put, give me invoices. So I don't know if that happens with everyone, which kind of sucks because I like to read to you guys exactly what I've paid for. This looks a lot croppier than when I bought it um, online. I have had so much hit and miss with Boohoo, but anyway, this is the plus Siska palm print tight front crop top crop top damn it um, it's in white and this is a size 16 so it does have a zip at the back it is open at the bottom part of the back which I did not know this is so this is a UK size 16 US size 12 these straps are adjustable as well I don't think I'm gonna like this and it says it's a tie front but there's like this one little thing so I'm not sure what's going on with that but hey we'll try it on as always i probably don't even have the right bra on but hey who cares oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so these straps obviously need to be tightened i like things with thicker straps because it does kind of hide your bra straps and i'm definitely not one to go without a bra like ever <laughs> it's feeling very open at the back like very exposed but I'll stand up and we'll have a look. I don't know how this is meant to be a tie front. Like what is going on? Oh, I am in my pajama bottoms as well, so yes. Okay, I think I do like it. I would not say this is a crop because it does come down quite low, which is good. Obviously the straps need to be tightened. They are a little bit loose. Uh, the zip is a bit kind of bulky at the back and it is more of a crop at the back and definitely like a crop at the sides. So it's like, it kind of crops up. You can see my tramp stamp, awesome. You can see my muffin tops. And then it kind of slouches down. So I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about this one. It feels comfortable. It's not like tight under the arms or anything like that. It's nice and summery. These bits are kind of meant to sit like this, but they're just a bit all over the place. But yeah, I don't know, I think I like it. We'll, we'll see. I was just watching some Peppa Pig, but I wanted to show you guys, I just realized that weird tie thing. There's one on the inside of the dress, top, sorry, and one on the outside. So that is actually how you tie it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> wow. Okay, so this is the next item. This is a plus Eloise V-neck ruffled rib crop top. So this is how it looks. It actually looks really nice. It's kind of like a 
thicker type material but it's not like hot it still looks like it will be quite flowy and airy um, and the, the sleeves are just a little bit kind of ruffled so all of these items as well I did buy when they were having like one of their big sales like I never buy a full price item from there like ever oh okay so it feels really nice I like the kind of ruffles I think that gives a little bit of a softer detail I'll have a look in the mirror <laughs> oh I like it um, it is kind of a crop, like it's at a weird length, but most of my pants and stuff I wear these days are kind of more high-waisted like jeans. So I think this would be nice even tucked into jeans with a nice belt. Um, <laughs> hello belly. Maybe with some shorts or something like that. I probably wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this with anything low rise just because it does like, not that I'm ashamed of my belly or anything like that, but it's just, I'd kind of be pulling at it all the time, I reckon. So yeah, I think I do like this one. <laughs> I'm doing good so far. Next item, I cannot even remember some of this stuff. God, there's a lot. Okay, oh wow. All right, so this is a bodysuit that I bought. I've had issues with the bodysuits and I'm pretty sure I got a different size, but I don't know what's going on because I'm pretty sure I got a size 20 in this, which is crazy. <laughs> Last time I think I got 16s and they weren't long enough um because i've always had issues with bodysuits but this one is a size um 18 so i don't know what's going on maybe i didn't change the size or maybe i did i can't remember anyway this is the plus beth slinky striped plunge bodysuit oh oh it smells it's got a very um it was glue it smells like glue it's got like a glue scent <laughs> so this is what it looks like I'm not sure about the plunge I never I should think more before I buy things but um, it's plunged it looks like it's a freaking right up your bum g-string kind of thing there's no buttons on this either so if it doesn't fit it's not like you can just unbutton it I suppose you could cut it but um, yeah it's long sleeve as well so <laughs> let's try it on oh my god I just bent over and I got the biggest wedgie in the entire world this is like a g-string bodysuit like and it's thick it's not like a thin g-string it's like a thick oh my god you will feel this with every step <laughs> oh I wanted to let you guys know as well like I have not been filming videos for the past almost month and this is the first time I've worn makeup because I've had major issues with my eyes I still obviously don't have eye makeup on which kind of sucks because I really wanted to do Christmas stuff but I just want to give my eyes as much time as I can to heal so yeah that's why it looks kind of bloodshot and stuff like that anyway I'm liking how this is looking I think the size 18 is good it's not as plungy as what I thought it would be I'm gonna look in the mirror it is very high rise here which I do not like and it gives me a major major wedgie like why can't this be down a little bit more I don't know oh god I don't like it at all <laughs> oh my god this is so bad um this <laughs> this seems like oh my gosh something from a nightmare <laughs> because, oh, oh my gosh I do not like this at all it looked like it could be really nice but I think with someone that is bigger in the belly area um more of an apple shape not so good um it's very nice material look at this but it is seriously giving me the biggest wedgie in the entire world oh my god oh now nah, this is um this has gone in the bad bin <laughs> okay <laughs> next item i am just in my bra so i'm ducking down this is the next item i can see which i think is just a plain top i think i remember getting this one so this is the plush plus Danielle lettuce hem cap sleeve t-shirt in powder pink this is a size 18 this is what it looks like it is a crop so I'm gonna try it on oh my gosh no nah, I'm not gonna wear this I love like the top part but it is way too croppy like to the point where you will see the lower part of my boobs I thought it kind of looked a lot longer in the model like it would kind of just brush the top of high-waisted pants but I don't think I would wear this I don't know I'll stand up yeah I don't think I'm gonna wear this oh it seems really strangely high under my neck as well like yeah I love the color and everything like that but I will not be wearing this so this one is going to be returned I've got another one I think this is a crop as well what was I thinking 
Was I gonna black out? I don't know. Okay, this feels really nice. Um, this is the Plus Imogen Tie Dye Boxy Tie Crop Top Pink in size 18. This one does seem a lot looser, softer fitting. I like the colors. Uh, it looks like it's kind of got like a fold over part on the sleeves and a little bit of a tie front. This one may be more forgiving, so we'll just see. So like silky and sleek. Okay, so it is really crop, <laughs> which kind of sucks. This is how it's looking. Oh my God, no way. So yeah, it's really, really cropped. Like in the photos, it kind of looked like it came down to about here. So I was like, oh, you know, that could work. But no, it's like super, super cropping. Oh God, no. It's got like this weird seam, like down the center. This isn't on back to front, is it? No, it's got like, yeah, like this weird seam right in the middle here, which is, ugh. I did just want to take a moment and talk to you guys as well before we go on. Obviously, you've seen my body in this video. You've seen my stomach. Everything like that. I'm, I'm a big advocator for body positivity, loving your body, being able to show off your body even if you don't have the perfect body. I have been there before where I've had the so-called perfect body, but I was never happy and I always wanted more and I was never content. I've been so much more content now with my body than I ever have been. Yes, I did use stretch mark lotions, butters, I used rosehip oil, I used everything under the sun to prevent stretch marks when I was pregnant. It didn't work, sadly for me. Stretch marks are hereditary. <laughs> and I know like I often get a lot of comments like, ew, ew, you've let your body go, blah, 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 blah. Not so much on YouTube, but Instagram and stuff like that. Um, God, I train hard. <laughs> I work out at least three times a week. I do CrossFit, powerlifting, all that kind of jazz. Um, so yeah, this is my body. This is what I'm working with. I'm embracing it. I'm not gonna shy away from the camera. I'm not gonna shy away from a bikini because someone else might not like it. If you guys don't like it, you can close your eyes. <laughs> but I just wanna kind of empower other women out there that are postpartum or even just feel like they're struggling or not so confident. Just try and love yourself. It's hard, it's like a muscle. You need to build it up. It's not gonna happen overnight, but you know, you're beautiful, rock it. If you're a postpartum, You've done amazing. Like growing a baby and freaking going through labor or going through cesareans or whatever, it's freaking hard. So be proud of what you've done and be appreciative of how amazing your body is that it's been able to give you a baby. Like I heard this actual quote that for everyone that hates their postpartum body, there's one person out there that wishes they could have one. So yes. <laughs> Anyway, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Okay, so this is the next thing I'm seeing. Oh God, I forgot about this. This is a plus lace detail bodysuit. This is in size 20 as well. This does not look supportive at all. It actually looked like they had kind of inbuilt cups in the picture, so you could almost go braless with this, but I definitely don't think you can, or I won't be able to in this instance. The sides as well look so freaking high, again, like the other bodysuit, that it's just gonna be awful, and it is a clasp front down there as well so <laughs> oh, yeah. oh god i'm gonna try it on oh dear god i'm leaving my bra on for this <sighs> god i don't know i do not know this uh it it's crazy that this is a size 20 and it fits um, it definitely will clasp up, which is a good thing. And the sides are not actually as high as what I thought they would be. It's very unforgiving. There's a lot of like, this is all skin showing. These cups do not like go underneath my boobs. They probably could, but then it's gonna be like, oh God, hello. Like nip line is like here and this is all clear. And as well, like I think I would definitely have to wear a bra with this. It just does not look that flattering. So I definitely think that I will be sending this one back and just getting something not like this. I had such high hopes because I've seen, uh, it's probably my fault because I'm not dressing for my body shape, but I've seen so many people wear almost like um, lingerie type body suits under jeans and they look just gorgeous and they it like sculpts their body and they look so beautiful and they've got the support from the inbuilt cups and they don't have to wear a bra and blah 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 so maybe I'm going about it the wrong way maybe I need to go to bras and things and actually buy one like that that's not like super revealing but yeah this no not good not good <laughs> okay in here as well I've got some earrings I forgot that I bought these these are honey horse shoe tassel earrings I really like these, so that is nice. All right, I'm gonna open up the other bag now. 
All right, this is the first thing. I honestly do not remember buying this. What if they sent me someone else's order? Like, I do not remember buying this. This is a Harley Basic Bomber Jacket in black size 12. I would not have bought this. What if they've given me someone else's? Oh my God, they have. This is like, oh, I did not buy this. <laughs> what do I do? Do I keep it? Do I send it back? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Size 12. Like that is not my size. This is how it looks. I'm, I'm, fuck it. I'm going to try it on. I did not order this. Oh my God. They've given me someone else's package. No wonder why like, what does it say on here? It's got to Jade Madden and on this one, Jade Madden and my address. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So this one, it feels a little bit tight. <laughs> it's kind of like soft material. It fits a bit kind of tight and restrictive around the arms. This is kind of how it looks. Um, very kind of short. Like if you were to raise up, oh, I still got this on, <laughs> but yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, Hmm. I've got someone else's order. Petite oversized boyfriend denim jacket, size 10. I'm not petite, guys. Oh my god. So this is what it looks like. I that's not gonna friggin' fit. What do I do? Comment below, tell me what I what I do. Like I'm gonna double check that I haven't been charged for this because I did not order this. Like why would I get a friggin' size 10 when I got a size 20 jumpsuit? Like oh god, am I gonna fit in this? Okay, so yeah, no, I can't even like, oh God, uh, yeah, no. Nah. Am I stuck in it? What if I'm stuck in it? Okay, that is so, so freaking weird. Oh God, guys, my arms, oh. <sighs> they sent me someone else's order. Like, that's insane. <sighs> Fire out. Anyway, anyway, oh my God. I'm gonna get into the Justine's stuff. I have already worn two of the items because <laughs> why not? So obviously this stuff is a lot more expensive than Boohoo, but at the same time, the quality is a lot better and it's gonna last you a lot longer. So the first thing I wanted is I really wanted a good pair of soft, comfortable denim shorts. So I bought these. These are the amazing denim girlfriend mid-rise mid-length shorts. They were having a sale and they had like 30% off denim. So if there's a receipt, I'll tell you what I paid. $69.95, which was I think the full price. And I'll tell you guys what I paid in total for everything as well. So I think that was the full price and then 30% off on top of that. Honestly, so soft, so comfortable. I got a size 12. I probably could have gotten a size 11, especially if they do stretch, but oh my gosh, so comfy. They button really easy. There's nice pockets. There's pockets at the back. And what I like to do is kind of just roll this up a little bit. You can obviously wear it down like this if you want or you can roll it a few times to give you more of a, like a shorty, short kind of feel. They are just honestly so comfortable. They're not super tight. Like I can even go like this and they're like not digging in. There's something I could wear all day, every day. I love that they've got pockets. Like this is well worth the price and they just feel so soft and so nice. All right, so the next thing, this again, I have already worn and I spilt some food on it or Hazel spilt, there's something spilt on it already. <laughs> but hey, this is the Ebony V-neck strap back cami. This was $49.95. So yeah, that's a lot for a top. And normally I don't spend that kind of much, but I really liked it. I really liked the color. It's just nice and soft and flowy. And then the back has this kind of strappy detail, which I think is really, really pretty. It does also have an underlay. So it just, it seems like it's great quality and it's nice and light. Like it's not super hot, which I love as well. Okay. So yeah, I've spilled something on it here, but 
I just like it. Like the straps are thick enough to kind of hide my bra. It does go like a little bit kind of lower at the back and front, but what I was doing when I was wearing it the other day was kind of lightly like tucking it in and, or even like twisting it and putting it in the pocket. And I just feel like it just kind of made me look more put together. I felt comfortable in it. I felt kind of flowy and summery. And yeah, it was just really nice. I, I like it. So I've got two more things that I bought from there. These were on special. They were $7.50 each. Oh, $15 each. Damn, I thought that was $7 each. Damn it, they were $15 each. <laughs> um, so all up, I had $50 off with the 30% off. Oh yeah, maybe they were $7 each. I don't know. So all up it was $98, which is a lot, but hey, I got one, two, th four items. This one's just super soft. It is a little bit see-through. I didn't try this one on, but I tried a different one on and just didn't like it as much, but it's super, super soft. It's comfortable, light and airy. Like it doesn't feel restrictive or anything like that. And I think just for like around the house, quite nice as well. Um, so again, I've got another one here. This one is got little pineapples on it which is super cute okay so this is how it looks I actually really like this one again um, both of these are a size large as well so yeah I just think it's nice it's kind of slouchy it's not too tight and yeah for like every day I think it's really nice all right I need to go and get hazelnut to bed um, I've got quite a few things to return <laughs> definitely those crops god let's count so one two three four four returns out of six items so I'm returning four keeping two and then I don't know what to do with those other things that are not mine oh my god wow so yeah so I'm definitely keeping this one I'm gonna keep this one and just yeah so rainbows thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um this is yeah definitely giving me a big learning curve i'm not sure i'm going to continue buying stuff from boohoo unless it's maybe shoes or um jewelry or stuff that i've worn before that i know is nice like those skater dresses i got in my last boohoo haul amazing so it actually is such a difference going into stores and being able to try stuff on sadly for me i can't do that all the time it's hard to do it with a pram it's hard to fit into change rooms with a pram especially if hazel's just had enough or she's grumpy or whatever it's just not always plausible and you know mums out there you guys will know what I'm talking about and it's very rare that I get you know half an hour to myself to go and do something like Lee's great with Hazel but you know it's not really something that I do so I mean that's why I do a lot of online shopping so anyway um I'm happy with the purchases definitely the stuff from Just Jeans I can definitely see myself wearing this all the time just comfortable relaxed and um, you could probably even dress up these shorts a little bit too but they just honestly so freaking comfortable i'm going to get another pair in a different color but maybe a size down or I'll, I'll wait and see how i go with my weight loss journey and stuff so yeah all right i love you guys thank you for watching please give this a thumbs up subscribe comment all that jazz and yeah i love you guys i'll see you in my next video <laughs> bye